Hi guys! Welcome back to War Robots here and we are here on my own battle account and as you guys can see here we have we have here lots of uh, new stuff going on here we have the Lunar New Year event you can see that here on top here now you can see it on the back here as well with those statues here and I want to show you guys what you guys can win now we are first of all we are gonna go into the event here now to be able to win those coins here those lunar new year coins you can win 50 30 20 and you can win 250,000 silver here it says here earn 18,000 points here so and that is 34 days that lunar new year event is going to last 34 days and 16 hours so uh, you have 34 days time to be able to get coins so you can buy the stuff that is in here so earn 18,000 points here to win 50 lunar new year coins down here um, 9500 points to win 30 lunar new year coins and down here 300 now the way you do that is you have to play battles and win them and get points those points then are going to be added on here here and here like, like I said, you need 18,000 points here, it's, that means you have to fill up the bar here with 18,000 points, fill up the bar here with 9,500 coins, and down here, fill up the bar with 300 points, and then you can win whatever is in here. This is a, a 10 day thing, you can win here 250,000 silver. Which will be added up to your silver that you have up here. I have 182 million. So you need to win 15 battles to be able to win this silver here of 250,000. And down here you have your your regular from day to day wins here. You can win here three times the D type chip. You have to win two battles for that, and if you get uh, the top positions here on the leaderboard, you can uh, win here that 10 platinum. But that here doesn't belong to this. This is what we want to have a look. That is what is important and what I want to review. So we are going to go in here now. We have seen those on the, on the Steam and my steam account there on the war robots update we are going to have a look what is in here you need a um, hundred new year lunar coins I have you get a hundred for free here they, they give you a hundred lunar coins for free you need a hundred lunar coins to be able to open here that envelope and let's see what is in here so in here you have the crimson hawk the tiger scatter gun. I want to see what type of damage I put that weapon does. Wow, 2600 damage at a range of 200 meters here. Now that weapon looks pretty awesome to me. It looks better than, than the standard scatter gun. Uh, the reload time here is 11.25 seconds. I think that is for a 200 meter weapon is a bit too long. I would put that reload time down to 8 seconds. Supersonic uh, damage it can do. You can fire manual, it has a salvo. And it can reload while you're shooting at the same time. Yeah. Then you have here the Dragon Dragoon. Now that is the dragon weapon here with the with the dragon's head put around it for decoration I'm going to show you guys what the 
dragon weapon looks like. Do I think we can put it on here? Uh, the dragoon, can we put it on here? That is the Hussar weapon. It looks similar to the Hussar here. Okay, we can uh, build the atomizer as well. Didn't know that. No, we can uh, put the weapon on that one. So let's go back in here. That is the Dragoon weapon. 3225 damage output. A range of 600 meters and a reload time of 12 seconds. Wow. Then we have here the Dragon Marquez. Why those weapons are called dragons and why this guy is called the tiger because it has the tiger's head on it and these guys have the dragon's head on it. That's why they're called the Dragon Dragoon, the Dragon Marquez here, and the Dragon Blaze, and the Dragon Calamity. Now that Dragon Blaze here does a damage of 157, a range of 350, and a reload time of 5 seconds. That is brilliant. 5 second reload time at a range of 350 meter weapon. That is awesome. That is quick. Then we have here the regular Havocs and the regular Devastator. Here you can win Hawk building pieces, 500. You're gonna win 1000 building pieces and 2500 building pieces here. Then you can win the Devastator building pieces here and the Scatter building pieces here as well. And you can win here 300 gold. The scatter building pieces here, 1000, 2500 and 500 and at the very inter you have here the energy cell. So that is what is in here in the first envelope where you need 100 of these guys up here, the lunar, new year coins I call them. Now the way this goes is... Um, you need to win, I think what they give you is, do they give you weapons here? And uh, when that is filled up here, up as far as here, now that is going to be filled up as far as here when I do my first 100 here. And when all the bar is filled up here, you can win here. The Crimson Hawk. I think that's the way it goes. I'm not sure, but I think it is. For the Evo Life event last time, you had to fill up the bar here as well, and then then you had uh, three items here, and you can pick from the three items here. They were shuffled. Now I don't know if this is the case here as well. So anyway, let's have a look what is inside the 200 New Year crate here. I don't know. Lunar New Year envelope. Let's see what's in here. In here you have the Typhon Warrior. Yes, sir. -y. The Typhon Warrior. All right. Awesome robot. I've seen this on the test server from other people. They were playing with the Typhon Warrior. That is an awesome robot. The limiter robot. Ten percent more. It's more efficient. Ten percent more efficient than the regular Typhon. That is an awesome robot, guys. Concern of the Evo Life. I'm not going to read that because it's in German. But down here you can see it has a, a damage protection here of 87,200. It can walk at 43 miles per hour and it has that blackout weapon up here, version 2.0, which means if you fire that weapon up here at an enemy, his modules are going to get deactivated. He can't use his modules, nor can he walk. He just can stand there for a couple of seconds and use his weapons. 
So only the modules and his work speed is going to get deactivated and all he can use is his weapons when that blackout weapon is going to be fired at an enemy. Alright. Then we have here the Magnetar. I found that Mag Magnetar weapon very handy on the test server. I played that weapon on the test server on my Hawk here. And I found it very interesting and it's a nice weapon because it can lock down your enemies and do a damage here at level 1. 495. If you upgrade this weapon, it can do more damage. Only a reload time here of 5 seconds. It has a, an accumulation effect here of 100%. Which means um, if you fire a shot here at somebody, that, that can use up 5 seconds. He's going to be immobilized for 5 seconds, I think. And it has a magazine. The Hornet here. I think that is also a lockdown weapon. It can also lock down other people. I have tested that Hornet weapon on the test server as well on my Hawk. On there, 935 damage. Here the uh, the range is 600 meters. Reload time 12 seconds. Uh, the damage over time 160 seconds. Uh, 160 per second it can do damage of over time that means here over time uh, the chance of working is a hundred percent and it takes off energy five seconds from your enemy all right I like that because that's what I have on my drone here damage over time. I have that on my drone. I like that weapon a lot. I tested it on the, on the test server and it comes in very handy because you can also lock down your enemy as well. Then you have here uh, pieces for your regular hawk 500 and 1000. The, you can win a balanced unit which is great. I have also tested this on the test server here um, damage protection here of 4% at level 1 and an extra damage percentage here of 3 to your weapons and it has a permanent effect on your robot all right you can win an overdrive unit here it's, uh, it does 10% um, more damage to your weapons as well and it has a permanent effect on your robot as well. 2500 pieces you can win here for your Typhon. That is great. Roslyn, that is the Typhon pilot. I'm, I'm gonna probably try and get her. Roslyn. Let's see what she can do here. That is a Typhon skin. Uh, yeah, she is ready to learn new skills here. Roslyn. I'm not gonna yeah level one here I'm not gonna read all that for you guys Rosalind Roses what does I say Entschlossen yeah she's here ready to learn another skill for your typhoon then you have here the cloaking unit I already have that 400 gold ah you can uh, win here building pieces here puzzle pieces for the Magnetar here and the Hornet. I hope I'm gonna get those weapons here, the building pieces here. Or, or I'm hoping for, I'm hoping to get those weapons so I don't have to build them. So I have them weapons here right away. And I'm hoping to get the Warrior Typhon as well. That's what I'm hoping for. I like that robot a lot. And I'm hoping to get Ross Lind, the, the pilot, she can either pilot the warrior typhon or she can pilot this regular typhon as well. Brilliant. So what else can you win here? 500 gold and 3000 energy cells. Alright. Let's see what's here in number 3. You need 300 lunar new year coins to 
those guys here to be able to win something out of this envelope. So in here you have the new Demeter robot. Demeter. It has a damage protection here of 78,000. 45 kilometers per hour and it has that repairing cover what I was talking about earlier. It can heal your allies using the absorber shield. So taking advantage of the enemies firing at you, your absorber shield is going to get stronger and stronger and stronger and you, you will be able to heal your allies a lot quicker. Then you have the new Grom weapon. I think I already have that weapon in my collection. We have the Squall here. That weapon does 1030 damage at level 1. 500 meter range and the reload time here is 2 seconds. Squall. That Squall weapon doesn't do a whole lot of damage but it has also a quick reload time. That's what I'm hoping to get as well. I'm hoping to get the Demeter, the Ox Minus. We have the Ox Minus here that is a new robot which was also tested on the test server and the Dread Shell. Awesome guys, brilliant stuff. Ox Minus. Let's have a look here. Uh, the effect radius is 100 meters so that means when he's going to start r running here, he's going to have an effect radius of 100 meters, which means he can, when he starts running, he's going to put out a supersonic, uh, how should I, th how should I say that? He's going to put out supersonic radius of 100 meters, which will knock robots off a bridge and even kill them. Or hit them so that they are gonna lose a little bit of health here. 15 seconds here that is gonna last I think that is gonna last 15 seconds. What have we done here? 429,000 protection damage here or damage protection I should say. 20% uh, what is that and it can run at a speed of 43 miles per hour. Now he can run a lot faster when his special is going to get activated here. I think once I get this robot, I don't need the regular Ox Minus. So let's have a look at the Dread Shell here. That is also a cool robot to have here. The Dread Shell. It's a limited robot, 10% more, more ability here. It's limited. Was the demand is also limited? Yeah, it's limited. Uh, Demeter, that is not limited at all. It has a radius of 100 meters, which, which I was talking about earlier. That explosion that he has in here, if an enemy robot is standing inside that 100 meter circle and he does that explosion, that enemy is gonna take some damage. That is what that means. Now the, the weapons for this robot here, one Nuclean and two Quarkers, or one Glacier and two Rhymes. Now I, I would probably put other weapons on this robot, probably a Glory or what have you, because Nucleans and Quarker, Glacier, Glacier and Rhymes, they freeze up other robots but those weapons here, they are a little bit on the weak side, so I would, I would probably put more stronger weapons on the Dread Shell. 128k of 128,000 damage protection. You can walk at a speed here of 33 kilometers per hour. And that is what I'm, what I was talking about, the Atom. He's got an, an Atom in the center here, which he uses to do some damage to other people at 100 meter range or radius I should say. Then we have Jerry Fortune here. He is his job is to pilot the Demeter. That is his his job to pilot the Demeter. 
And here is the Demeter skin, the eternal skin for the Demeter here. It has a damage protection here of 5%, which is awesome. Now, I don't know... Okay, Linda Cano, she powers the shell. She's the, the pilot for the shell here. Let's have a look at her. Yeah, she's also ready to learn new skills here. Jerry Fortune is also ready to learn his skill for the Demeter. And Linda Cano, she is ready to learn a skill to pilot here the Dread Shell. Awesome. Now you can also use her to pilot, pilot the regular shell as well. Then we have here the skin for the Dread Shell here, which has 5% damage protection as well. You can get the Wasp. That is a chip. No, that no, that's not a chip. That's that's the wasp you can win. It's a drone to do extra damage to other people's robots. I have the eye. I have this drone already. Uh, you can win pieces here to build the shell. You have the recurrent emergency defender chip here for your drone you can put it on either this one here or this one here it depends what kind of what kind of slots you have you know and you can win building pieces here for the demeter brilliant awesome guys i hope i'm gonna win here the, the shell pieces those are awesome i don't know if i have pieces for the shell to build yet i don't know i have to check that out Probably only for the Typhon. Um, yeah, 2,500 building pieces for the shell here. Then you can win building pieces for the Demeter. 1,000 or 2,500 down here. You have the recurrent emergency renovator chip for your drone. The you can have the glider drone. That is a drone. That's not. Not a chip, that is a drone. The inhibited intensifier, that is something which you can shoot with. That, that is a weapon. That is a weapon and that is a weapon here. Targeting, target seeking cannon shooter. The name, the name says it all here. And the minigun shooter, I think I have those chips here already. And you can win. I seen people here using this drone the nebula that that is an awesome drone it has a battery capacity of 30 and eight chip sockets and it can do quite amount of damage to other robots as well i have here the anti-acid chip for the drone here and gold 600 gold you can win here you can win 700 gold all right that is what you can win in there i'm just gonna see if i have you can, have, you can take a look at it in here i don't think i can build a shell just yet i can build a havoc havoc here can i can build havoc here just want to see if i have i have here the typhon uh, I can build a Typhon, I can build a Hawk, just want to see if I can, yes I, I have the shell here actually, and a Devastator, awesome, okay I didn't, didn't know that, that I have already the shell pieces and a Devastator, so I can build a Devastator and a Havoc, now you can put um, the Devastator and the Havoc on the shell as well, so you can turn this robot into a 200 meter or a short range robot killer I should say I can build a shell here that robot here that scorpion has been implemented into the game yesterday which means you can go in here and select the scorpion to be able to build it I don't think you can select the, the shell 
and a hawk just yet. I want to see what else I can build. The Havoc, yes. The Typhon, uh, the Hawk I can build, that's awesome. The Scorpion and the Shell, the Havoc and the Devastator. What else do I have down here? Oh, I can build a Jaeger. I didn't, okay. I can build a Jaeger as well. That is, that is brilliant. The Jaeger. All right. And the Weber. Brilliant. That is awesome, guys. All right. Brilliant. The Jaeger and um, the Weber weapons. Those are new. Do you think I can build Gauss? I don't have the Gauss weapons at the moment. I can build a Ravana. What else can I build? What's new? Uh, did I get that one? Don't think I got the vault. So, yeah. And, uh, we can... If we go to battle up here, we can do a regular game or... We can do skirmish. We don't have arena in here. So I'm gonna do this separate and I'm gonna try and play this and then I will make a video of the skirmish event and see what that is all about. So that is it guys. We showed you what is in here in those three envelopes. All the prizes in there. And I showed you guys how to win those coins here so thanks for watching guys lots of new prizes to win and lots of battles to be fought to be able to win the prizes here so thanks for watching and uh, let me know what you think in comments below of this video and that is it guys bye bye and thanks for watching